Hi everyone, welcome back to Love Kami episode 6, where Itsuki and Sota are still on their mission to round up all the truant gods and goddesses and make them go to school. And so far it's been a mixed bag, so most gods and goddesses they didn't know what going to school meant, and that was why they were absent. And all Sota and Itsuki had to do was teach them that going to school meant walking into the school building, entering the gates, and being seated in a desk in a classroom. But we also have some goddesses like Susuri who refuses to go to school as against the Divine Education Act. And she literally hates Amaterasu. It's like, um, what's the point of making gods and goddesses obedient with the human laws or the laws of human Whereas I have more power than humans, I can flex my muscles every time I want, and it just shows that I'm a really tough person, I can do anything I want. And it was to a point where her name was put on the optional list, or like the um the excluded list. And now we come to this goddess, who appeared when Sota gave a blessing to her shrine. Which is famous for um, the um, Hanami Festival Cherry Blossom viewing. And let's see what's her response at going to school. So there's a goddess who's standing. No mistake, she's obviously not human. Uh, okay, um. No, no, no. The whole body. Let's see, um. Or like he's not talking and um has a not so solid figure. <laughs> and it looks like I'm a Teresu's bird. You got the suitcase like Oh, ka ka, Sakya sama, it's been a while. It's the um it's a suitcase. Hey, thanks, in a suitcase. Hmm, so her name, Sakuya. So, um, let's see. So, um, Fuji. Fuji no Miya Sakuya, right? Oh, so this person, the beautiful goddess Sakuya. Um, and once again, they give the name. Or, like, so, so Sakuya is her earthly name, and they give her. Goddess name, which I can't decipher here. So she's talking to the bird. Oh, um, it's been a long time, Tetsuki sama. So my sister and I have come over here. So I just arrived, and um, you can tell I'm a Tresu. That it's late, and I apologize for all this. Okay, I'll tell. I'll tell her. But um, before that, um, this or a messenger of Amaterasu sama has to tell you something. Oh, what's that? Hmm, Sakia, as if um she noticed me. Um, so the god of cherry blossoms turned over to me. Oh, so this is the messenger that Amaterasu sent um, to us, right? Hmm, the beautiful face suddenly becomes something that was dull. Hey, what's this? A human, right? Eh? Wait. So like, um, well, I do appreciate someone visiting the um, cherry blossom area, but this is not a place where people can enter freely or step on. And I, as the guardian of trees, command you to go back and return. Hey, hey, hey what? What's with this? What the hell, suddenly? 
Hmm. So all the emotions and respects I had at the first moment blew away. So the fact that she gave a very unwelcoming message to Sota, it's like, a, oh, it's a human. Get out of my sight, or get out of this area. Hey, well, well that um, you know, I got business with you. There is no business with humans. I have nothing to talk to them about. Oh, wow. So, um, while Sakuya recognizes the bird, Yatasuke, well, in a sense of the pet, well, I'm pretty sure she's seen the bird a couple of times because um, he's like the messenger of Amaterasu. But um, when she sees Sota, they come, oh, she's another human. I want him away. And now the bird's like, come, no, no, no. Sota is the messenger. And this is where the seal that Amaterasu gave Sota comes into play. It's like, um, oh, I see. So, you do represent on behalf of Amaterasu. I can see that seal on your face, on your head. Wait, Deco? Well, I want to know. So, I wonder what she wrote on my face. What's that word? Well, either way, it just means that um, you were summoned by Amaterasu. Well then, human, what do you have to say? Uh, let me see. Well, it's difficult to say what when you're sub like this. So the fact that, like, uh, well, I'm gonna try to send a human, and I'm kind of skeptical of whether or not I should believe in this guy because, one, he's a human, and I don't really like humans in this area. But then, he has the authority of Amaterasu because that's seal, and you kind of can't have it both ways. So, um, Fuji no Miya Sakya. Hey, um, don't call me like that. I don't like the way that you call me. So how does she want Sota to address her? Hmm, so um, there happens to also be a goddess called um, Fuji no Miya Iwana, isn't there? Yeah, um, she's my older sister. So? Oh, so um, you two are supposed to attend school today at the um, God Hasaka School. Well, I do know that. Okay, what else? Well, it was all good today. It's like, well, you were absent today. That was okay because um, there wasn't really anything new today. But um, starting tomorrow, will you come to school? And she's like, um, no. Well, that's what. Okay, so that's what she decided on. And by the way, um, looks like her last name is actually Fujimiya. But either way, she's like, um, well. I'm not gonna go to school, I refuse. And I think this is where Sudo should ask why. Yeah, so why? Because I don't like humans at all. So to go to school being immersed with humans is a big no no for me. Hmm. So that's why. So, Mr. Human, do you want me to tell you why or about all this? Well, that's it, but I'm saying, um, Amaterasu Principal is coming. So, like, uh, well, this is the order from Principal Amaterasu that, um, all gods and goddesses have to go to school. So, 
So there you go, they come. Well, even if she says so, I'm not gonna go because I don't want to go with humans. I hate them. But anyways, I'm thinking... But thank you for all your hard work and um, just worship the way you used to. I'm gonna stay here. So basically this... We have another um, goddess who refuses to, refuses to go to school and it's because I hate humans. I don't want to interact with them. This immersion program is going to be a big chore for me. And this is going to be a much harder case to deal with. So, um, let's see. Ken Morrow, there's no clinging island. Well, I kind of feel sick. Well, I wonder what's wrong. And just then the wind danced and the cherry blossom rang. So it looks like somebody else might be coming. So the petals dance elegantly around Sakia. Oh, and? Wow. Amazing. She's beautiful. And the heart that was desolating went down. It looked down. So I think it's like, oh, wait, why are you still here? Um, didn't I tell you to buzz off, leave? Hey, um, so you made all that happen a while ago, right? The flowers bloom? You made the, um, all these withered trees look like they're full of cherry blossoms? Yeah, um, that's my powers. Oh yeah, um, it says so. Well, I thought it was pretty nice, though. Well, I don't really like it that much, though. I wonder why, um, that's really beautiful scenery. <laughs> so, a petal flushed down a piece of fingers attached by Sakuya. And Sakuya lightly squeezes the lips and blows it. And I follow my eyes with the petals that flutter. <laughs> So the fact that um, if I do make the trees bloom, it also creates scatter. Do you understand human, son? I see, I get it. Hmm. Flowers bloom, flowers fall. And certainly the flower blooming is sure to welcome you when you fall. But, however, well, I understand it's something good. Mm -hmm. Really? Come on, cherry blossoms. As soon as they bloom, people gather at the end place. And it is the first time to see quietly where there's no one like this. So I think it's like, a, well, I do appreciate these cherry blossoms. The fact that I'm able to see this without anybody at my side, so I'm basically one person enjoying it all alone and that makes a very spectacular view that you can't find during that official viewing event. But I think I'm all, so can I take a look at it a little bit more? Fine, here you go. So I sit down and show you the dancing petal is a remnant of that the flowers have fallen. Well, if I think so, it is painful. But that's why. Oh really? Cherry blossoms are so beautiful. Hmm. You're quite strange, aren't you? It apparently it seems like that. So, are you the only So, are everyone just like you? Human? Well, I don't know. Um, so, why don't you come and check it out then? So, I think... Um, well, I'm not really sure why Sakuya hates humans. 
but she does see that I'm sort of quite different than what she anticipated from humans. And it's like, a, well, I'm pretty sure um, you're stereotyping like a lot of humans like that. You get some good ones from the bunch, and if you go to school, you'll get most of the good ones. But in a sense, um, Saki's like, um, well, I still don't, don't want to go. So they go, well, um, there's lots of good people that will help you at the school, so you should come. But it's like, well, you know, if you don't go, um, you may make Amaterasu, the sun goddess, angry. If that's how you want it. Well, I'm not that kind of person, though, but, um... So apparently, um, Cherry Blossoms and Sakuya harmoniously harmonize with, with each other, and it looks, looks like a picture. But anyways, um, who are you? Oh, so my name is Sota, so Kisa... Kis... um, Tasato Sota. Oh, I'm sorry. Give my best regards. Sota. Sota. Hmm. Sota. Wait, maybe I'm a nuisance? Yeah. Yeah, you are. Ah, well, this also roughly. Well, if you just want to stay here, um, that's okay. Because if you're just here to watch and enjoy the cherry blossoms, that's okay. And there's no reason I should reject you. Thanks. And the branches are ringing in the wind. So apparently, um, Sakya's figure disappeared in the gap where the eye was robbed by the whirlpool petals. So she disappears and leaves the blossom viewing behind. Um, well... So it looks like um, this was a failure. I failed to convince her to come to school. Hmm, Sakya. Right? So apparently there's a goddess for that as well. Well, if that was the case, I wonder what I should do now. Well, I'll just leave this place for now and then come back again. So maybe we should go and see another, or like, um, go to the next person on the list. And no matter what I want to tell you that, I'll say that the man will withdraw here. So it's like, uh, well, the fact that I'm, it was a failure and I have to give up and um, postpone this, that's kind of, um, I'll say like, uh, this is kind of depressing for um, a man like me. So forcing you to the press is not a story, but let's just say about it once more. But for time being, I'm just going to look at this, um, all these cherry trees for a while to um, refresh my mind. And he hears something. Wait, huh? Wait, what's going on? So I was pulled from behind by the elbow. And I wonder who this person or goddess is. Wait. Uh, I'm sorry, I was surprised. Oh, uh, no, 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 sorry. Oh yeah, I was surprised though. Um, wait, what's with that mask? Uh, yes, um, it is a mask. Hmm, wait, by any chance, um, so you must be, um, Yuana-san? Uh, yeah, so my... So my name is, um, Fujimiya Iwana, and I am Sakya's older sister. Once again, then, they give the, um, full goddess name for her, which I can't really decipher here. 
sorry, the text is way too small on my screen. Let's see. So, Iwana Kahime. Oh, um, that's right. So, my name is Tisato Soto. Give our best regards. Oh, Sutasan. Okay. So, um, she nods with her mask on. And I'm kind of worried about the mask. Wait, do you hear the story just before that? So I wonder if you heard the entire discussion between Sakaya and me. Um, yeah, I did hear it. So go, well, my sister, um, causing inconvenience, making you feel uncomfortable, I apologize. Uh, no, 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 um, it's okay, um, no matter what that is. Well, you know, I'm kind of used to it, and the fact that um, I live with, um, yeah, my mother and that child friend. So, it is a terrible circumstance, isn't it? Okay, so I think uh, you want us trying to help him to come. I know my sister was being such an ass, um, she really hurt, a, hurt you in some way. So, I'll make you feel better. I'll help you. Hmm, this is quite different. But you know, Saki is overdoing it even if I don't say it so tightly. Wait, Sakuya, so um, I just wonder, why does she hate humans? So now he's asking you why, maybe you want to can chime in about why Sakuya is like this. Because um, that's the, her main reason about why she doesn't want to go to school. Well, you see, um, it's because, um... And it looks like Sakuya is here to interrupt Iwana, and it's like, um, hey, um, Sister, um, there's no need to talk to humans. Oh, so she came out. Well, I came out because I'm wondering what's going on with my sister. Looks like something fishy is going on. Uh, what to do, poor people. Hey, um, you know, older sister, um, don't make a light voice and such, um, or don't treat him so lightly because um, it's a human that you're talking to. No, no, no. Well, even if you see most things, it's fine, but do not bear to decide so un unilaterally. Hey, um, so he, she tells. Well, Saki tells him, so to say, you know, you're getting quite violent, and that's one of the bad things about humans. So. So Saki's like, uh, well, you're poison, or like, um, this human's poisoning you, older sister, just get away from him. And then when Soda fights back, she's like, see? He's getting angry, and that's one sign of why humans are bad. But you want us like, uh, well, I think um, your determination and your judgment is incorrect. And it's you that's been the problem. But you know, um, that's... So Sakya, you seem to be bossy, shut her mouth, and um, kind of just um, lowered herself. Well, I apologize. I'm sorry about all this. Sasakia. So, so does I like, come. Um, well, um, it's okay. It's good. I know. Um, I did get upset a little bit. Hmm. Wow. This is some kind of power relationship. The sister. And two people at the same place. 
Well, um, I'm just following the orders of um, Principal Amaterasu, and um, she just told me that um, I should be telling both of you to go to school. It's like it's like um, I haven't changed my thoughts. My decision is still an absolute no. I will not go to school. But on the other hand, you want us like um, well, I want to go. So I wonder why you want didn't go in the first place today. So I think it's because of Sakya held her back. It's like um, don't go there. It's a um. Oh yeah, it's, a, it's like a dungeon for gods. Um, you're gonna be immersed with humans. They're going to poison you. All the parade of horribles. And when he wants to come, well, I do want to go to school. That shocked Sakuya. But you know, Sakuya, I think it's time that we have a little change. Because I mean, you know it's bad to keep the way things are, you know. So it's like, it's like a, well, yeah, I guess she is right on some fronts. Well, I don't really understand, but it seems that there's something wrong with these two people or gods. <laughs> And I do think that um that person does have a point. So maybe like um Damatresu Sun Goddess. And plus um this little human here, he's not a bad person, you know. Um yeah, I understand um but still. So, Sutta's song. Um, if Sakya, well, if she says things that are you don't want, um, I alone, is it not, is it bad? Okay, well then, um, well, just another bad thing. But you know, um, I'm not really good at interacting with humans either, so um, can you protect me? Uh, of course, obviously. Okay, well, that's good then, so I promise I'll go. And you wanna offer her hand? And he reflexively tries to shake hands with her. And well, maybe Saki needs to wake up as well. Uh oh, when it comes to the smell. <laughs> so the fact that like, oh no, you've went one step too far. You touched my older sister. Wait, Saki? <laughs> He's like, um, get your dirty hands off of um, my sister, um, you filthy human, you are ruining the pristine nature of God. Wait, whoa, 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 uh, uh, uh. Hey. So, you want to chop the back of Saka who caught. Okay, so you want to just give us a little... Chop and it brings Sakuya down. And now she's all dizzy and confused. And it's like, uh, well, I position my hand or my chop at the right angle, and I didn't really need to use that much power to bring her down. Oh, thanks. Well, I'm surprised a lot now, but my heart's still saying silly. Wait, what's this? So for Sakuya, normally I hold it down, but when it gets chaotic, the ground is... Wait, is it a ground? 
So to see this exchange from a while ago, the Switch seems to have many rela relations with Iwana san. And I'll keep that in mind. <laughs> Okay, so Sakyu gets up and says, Wait, what's going on now? Nothing? And Yoana who flashes silently. Hmm. So she is scary, even though she talks all gentle and polite, but when she does bring things down to order, that's when it gets really creepy. So, from tomorrow, we're gonna go to um, this Hayasaka school, okay? So we're both gonna attend. And we got our little um, mini drama here to the right. Let's just go ahead and click on this and see what's with this. Okay, so we have our little sister Mikoto. And Saku. Hey, hey, I'm Saku. This is where you're supposed to mention your name. Or Sakuya song. You should go, I know that. Okay, so how about we start over? Thank you very much. Hey, hey. Um, why am I supposed to you do this? So, Mikoto, Mikoto doesn't listen to come. Okay, this is Mikoto, and... And this is Sakuya. Hey, um, tell me goddess. There you go. That's much better. Uh, it was good, wasn't it? So this is what Goddess had taught me this time, Sakya tells me. And um, out of nowhere we hear a lovely applause and Sakya said, come, wait, where's all this applause and cheer coming from? Hey, so what do you want me to tell you? Or like, um, what do you want me as a Goddess to tell you? Wait, what's going on? So Mikoto's like, oh, well, I don't know my name, but I forgot to introduce myself. I'm sorry. No, that's a re relationship. Oh, so my name is Kirasato Mikoto, or Mikoto, and I am going to the God Hayasaka School. Thank you very much, and uh, you can call me. Mikochi. No, thank you. Oh, come on, um, don't hold back, it's okay. And how about in return I call you Sakuyan? Hey, you're gonna call me Sakuyan? If you call me that, I'm not gonna forgive you. Oh, come on, look, you're kind of embarrassed, Sakuyan. Hey, don't call me whatever you want, and I'm not embarrassed. Okay, so, how about Mikoto then? Hey, what's with this reasoning? Ah, uh, well, um, you know, it's kind of hard being a human, it's terrible, but at least, um, I have a name. But if you don't call me properly, like if you call me Mikoto, I'm gonna call you Sakuyan from here on, here on out. <laughs> oh, so what are we gonna do now? Okay, I understand. So, 
I'm gonna just kind of call you this only one time, and I'll call you Mikoto-san. How's that? Oh, thank you very much. Um, so I'll call you Sakya-san. Well, you know, I'm also a god, and I can't deny human wishes insignificantly. Well, um, I told you again that, um, yeah, I'm not really sure what Mikoto's saying. Well, no, in the case of a Mikoto song. Okay, well, I'm, I apologize, I'm very sorry, but there's something that I want to talk to um, Sakya-san about. Okay, so what is it now? Whatever. So I'm just wondering um, why the cherry blossoms at the Konohana Shrine, where Sakya is, it's blooming all along. Oh, um, that's because of my, um... I'll say like, um, my powers. And it's called um Kushimi Tama. Not sure what that means. So Kushimi Tama is um the miracle of God. And in general sense it means just um one of my god powers. Uh yeah, maybe. Okay, so I get it. So the cherry blossoms are blooming because of Sakuya's godly powers. And anyways, that's spectacular, super. And he's like, well, I do like it when I get praised, the fact that I'm using my powers. Oh ho ho. But I wonder if there are other gods that can do the same thing. No, because um, that Kushimitama is mine. Oh? So the kind of miracles that can happen to each god, strange soul will change. So I think it's like, um, well, each god has a different, unique power, and that's my uniqueness. Really? Like, um, yeah, so each god has its unique powers. For me, my unique power is the ability to make cherry blossoms bloom. And for the god of rain, his special power is to make it rain. And furthermore, there's more specifics about um this. I forgot the name of it. It's like um, this the specialty god power. And do you want me to go a little bit further with this? Ah, uh, well, um, either way, gods are awesome. Well, um, well, it's already there, and I can't really compare with other people. Ah, the fact that you're bringing up this human term again. Well, um, anyways, um, do you have any other things that you want to ask me, Mikoto-san? Oh, no, 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 it's okay. At least I learned this. Um, that's all good for me. Well then, um, please excuse me then. Okay, well thank you very much, Sakuya-san. We'll see each other again. Well, um, just this time only. Well anyways, um, thanks to Sakuya-san, now I know a little bit more about gods and goddesses. Well,
Well, I wish I had the opportunity, but then I'll excuse myself next time. Okay, thank you again. And well, until next time, see you later. Okay, so going back to the main story, Iwana tells Sakya that she's interested in going to this God Hayasaka school that's run by Amaterasu, and it makes Sakya all surprised. Well, but you know, um. But, um, he said so, so, um, I should respond. Well, I guess I have no choice if you say so. But, um, for you, human being, I do have one request. Okay, so what is it? Well, I know what a human school building is, but... So, um, I want to be in the same classroom with her, and I want to be seen next to my sister. Deal? And if that's not possible, then I will not attend school. Okay, well, I'm sure we can make it work out somehow. And I'll just say that to the teacher. Well, please do by all means. Hmm. Good rule. Okay. Well, then, um, for you, so the sun, I will see you tomorrow. Thank you. And Saki also says thank you, but in a more reluctant manner. Okay, regards. And apparently the role seems to be fulfilled. So the Fuji Mia sisters. Hmm, school life. Is all right? Really? What's going on? Okay, so it looks like Sota has reunited with Itsuki, and this is where I'm going to be concluding episode 6 of Love Kami. So, at least Sota was able to get one resistant goddess to come to school, and that will be Sakuya Fujimiya. Well, it's mostly because her sister, Iwana, is the one to try out this new experience going to an immersion school with gods, goddesses, and humans. And I think she did bring one important message for Sakya's like, well, it's time for a change. It's time to try something new. But I wonder how it's going to work out given that Sakya has this really big hatred for humans and that's why she didn't want to go to school. But at least she's willing to go to school because her sister is going to go. And she did make one big demand for Sota. It's like, well, I want to be seen next to my sister Iwana and in the same classroom. I'm pretty sure they're going to make it work out. Especially if the ultimate goal is for all gods and goddesses to go to this school with humans. So I wonder what other resistant gods or goddesses they have on the list. Because obviously, there's still more to um more true gods and goddesses to call upon and I'm pretty sure there's no way they're able to go through all 100 gods and goddesses in one day so with that in mind I'll see you in the next episode